Hello and a warm welcome to one and all. Greetings from the Orvis School. I hope you all are doing great as always. So today I am back again with all of you in our English class. And we will continue with the story A Colourful Day Part 3. I am sure you all have read the story. So now I am going to ask all of you questions. Okay. So here we begin. Okay, my first question now. What festival is being celebrated? Yes, the festival of colors. That is holy. What is the girl's name? Yes, her name is Sita. What is she trying to choose? Look at the table. Oh, she's thinking whether to take water balloons or colors or the water gun. And what does she finally choose? What does she finally choose? She takes a water balloon. Who was Sita looking for? She was looking for her family members. Who is standing in the garden? He is Sita's brother. And what is his name? His name is Pintu. Why does Sita want to throw the balloon at her brother? Because she wants to play holy and she wants to throw the water balloon and have lots of fun. Why is Pintu smiling? And what is he about to do? Oh, he's smiling because he can see his sister on the window. And he's about to throw the balloon on her. Did the balloon hit Sita? Or did it miss? Oh, it missed. And the balloon hit Ma. Who is Pa trying to spray with the water gun? Look at the picture. He's trying to spray on Ma. Do you think Ma is angry that she got splashed with color? No. It's time for celebration. It is holy. So she doesn't mind. What do you think the children are doing here? They are having lots of fun and playing with water and color. Who is in the brown car? Oh, it's grandma and grandpa. Why are grandpa and grandma visiting? They are visiting as it is time for celebration. And we celebrate with our family and friends. Does everyone look happy? Yes, they look so happy. Are the grandparents also going to play with colour? Yes, they are here to celebrate the festival of colours. That is holy. Can you tell me names of any two festivals that you like? Yes, Diwali, Christmas. Holy, yes. Okay. I hope you all were able to answer the questions from this story. So keep learning, keep enjoying and now we move on to our next section. So children, were you able to answer all the questions or you had to think hard? So now we move on to our next part. So today we are going to talk about things that make us feel angry, happy, sad and scared. But before that you have to tell me something. I am so sad. Yay! I am so happy. So today we are going to talk about things that make us feel angry, happy, sad and scared. Okay? So are you ready? I'm going to give you a few situations. You have to tell me and you have to choose the right face. Okay? So we shall begin now. What if you get some chocolates to eat and ice creams? How would you feel? Happy or sad? Happy. Yes. What if it was your birthday? And your best friend didn't turn up for your birthday. 
Your best friend didn't come for your birthday. How will you feel? I'm going to feel like this. Yes. Sad. Okay. When you get a surprise gift from your uncle, how do you feel? Very happy. What if teacher gives you a star at school? You feel very happy. Yes. And what if you don't get a star? How do you feel? Very sad. Yes. What if you leave your water bottle in school? If you left your water bottle at school, how does mommy feel? Very angry. Yes. Children, what if the lights suddenly go off? How will you feel? Very scared. Right. And what if Papa scolded you for something that you have not done? You have not done it, but Papa comes and shouts at you. How will you feel? Very sad. Yes. So children, I hope you all were able to guess the right answer. Isn't it? And I hope you all enjoyed playing this game. Yes. So till then, take care. Eat healthy. Do lots of exercise. Play some nice indoor games. Have fun. Take care. Bye-bye.